Hello everyone, this is Nico from Helix Artworks. In today's episode of the Locknext project, uh, we will be cleaning the interior for the first time, removing the uh, door seals, the carpets, uh, as well as the passenger and driver seats. Sadly, we couldn't save the seats. The seats were positioned all the way to the back against the firewall, so we couldn't reach the two rear uh, seat rail bolts uh, to release the bottom of the seats. So we have to cut the backing plate of driver and passenger seats to get access to it and be able to remove them. We're going to start on the landscaping here. <laughs> it's fine because you're doing it. <laughs> I'm not going Sucker! There. I'm not going there. Dude, it grew through the hole of the, the key. <laughs> Mother Nature, man. No, just leave it like that. We can just really put it on a on a on a base. And just keep it. Ooh, well, it's moving. I was gonna cut this, cut it out of it, and put it in a pot. It would be funny if you just keep it with it. Okay. I got a tan floor mat with red NSX stitching on it. You think we can reuse the leather? <laughs> no. It's gone. It's like it's like the first thing to go because the leather is pretty much gone like some creatures like eat it or something I mean it is skin so foreskin dude this had plastic mats under the floor mats the the like the plastic that the dealer leaves in there it still has it Ugh. 
Look. Yo, the carpet. The carpet's actually like in decent shape. After a bit over 300 pounds of mat sitting on the driver's side of the car, we decided to move to the passenger side so we can finally start removing the passenger and driver seats. Oh. Here, get this glass out of there. Did you see any more glass? Oh yeah, they're all over. Here, right there. Right. Let's get right this the glass bottom. out of here so we don't get... Here, can you take these? Well, I was just making sure we don't. Here, it's more. What is this? It's leather. Is that the hemliner or something? Oh, this is part of the glass. God damn it. After a few hours of excavation on each side of the car, our area of work was clean enough for us to start removing the seats. We were able to reach the front bolts of the rails from passenger and driver's side easily, but like I said before, we have to start cutting the backing plate of the seats so we can remove both of the seats out of the car. In this diagram, you can see in blue the two front rail bolts that we can have access to. The ones on red, they were the two bolts sitting behind the back of the seats. Sadly, we couldn't have access to it because the seats were positioned all the way to the back against the firewall. We make the decision of cutting the back side of the seats and then remove the recline motors from the seats, cut the seats in half so we can have access to the last two bolts and be able to remove the seats from the car.
As you can imagine, corrosion was present on most of the seat frame, aluminum section, and steel sections. After all three of us agreed that we didn't have any other choice but cutting the back side of the seats so we can reach the two rear bolts from the rails of the seats, we decided to start cutting the seats of the car.
we need more uh, Where are you precious? There you are. There is no way I will be able to reach in this sucker. Damn. Yeah. You were saying? No, I meant like it looked like the driver wasn't in the socket. So they guess it pushed in. Tag it in bagging. Tag it in bagging. Just like we did with the driver's side seat, we're gonna cut the back side of the seat, remove the recline motor, the two recline brackets, so we can have access to the two rear bolts from the rails of the seat. So we can finally remove the two seats from the car and start power washing and getting the car ready for each day.
past. What? My phone. Oh, I said that, but I think you're in the moment. After removing the passenger and driver seat from the car, we continue to remove some more of the dirt and mud from the interior of the car and then we proceed to power wash it one more time so we can get the car show ready for each day. I'll be finishing this episode with a couple of clips from each day at MIR this past weekend. It was great to meet some of you guys in person. Uh, it was also great to meet some of the uh, YouTubers that were there, like Eric the Car Guy, Honda Pro Jason, as well as Javier from H Day, and even Adam LZ, even though we don't have a picture with him because he gotta go. It was great to meet you guys. Thanks for your support, stay tuned.